Good morning, YouTube. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make kind of a classic that has almost disappeared, but it's come roaring back and I am so glad. I'm gonna show you how to make grits and greens. And y'all forget, ooh, I don't like grits, or ooh, I may not like greens. Nobody can't not love this stuff. I tell you, this is one of the best things I make. All right, let's cook y'all. We got a family to feed. All right, we are starting our grits and greens by bringing up two, two cups of chicken broth to a boil. And I have one standard bunch of collards. You can use whatever greens you like. I just like collards. All right, and I just washed them. I pulled the heavy, thick stems off. So like, there's a little thin stem. That's okay. When they get real big and thick and chunky, they get a little hard to eat and they don't get tender. And I don't want to stew these forever. So these are greens that will, as they start to cook, they're going to wilt way down, okay? And I'm going to get this started early so that these greens have time to simmer while I'm working on everything else. So that's all that's going to fit into our pot at the moment. And I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to give a sprinkle of salt. This is probably about a teaspoon of kosher salt. And then I'm going to find my red pepper flake, throw a little in there. And then as that comes to a boil and those start to wilt, I'll show you what it looks like and we'll be back and look at that. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. All those greens that we have put in that pot a minute ago have collapsed down to that size, right? So they'll continue to collapse and we just keep adding greens. Now, the reason we only seasoned lightly a minute ago because the leaves on your greens can get folded over and trap all your seasonings. And so you'll be working your way through it and suddenly you've got a bite of super salty greens. So I added the red pepper flakes. I'm gonna just add just a hint more and season this layer and then continue to stir as it cooks. In the meantime, I have about mm, 10 strips of bacon over here. I'm just gonna stir and let that get nice and crispy. So this is just a kind of a chill, let stuff happen situation right now. All right, so our Bacon has crisped up. <laughs> Crisp. Perfect. This is also one of these dishes that it does seem to use every pan you have. I could, actually what I should have done was I should have started this bacon in my bigger cast iron skillet, which I'm going to use to cook the grits. I just didn't. That's okay. It's fine. Okay, so Pull out our, our bacon and let it sit over here, just chilling, doing its thing. And then we're gonna drain off most of our bacon grease. When I say most, I really only want just a teaspoon or two left in there. You don't have to have a whole lot more than that. I mean, what, what did I say? You don't have to have a whole lot more? No, you don't have to have more. All right. One onion that I diced up, and it's just gonna get soft, okay? And then over here, we still have our, <laughs> still have our car collards simmering away, okay? All right, so bacon's crispy, collards are simmering, onions cooking, we'll be back to do the grits. All right, our onions are nice and fragrant. We don't need these for a little bit. So I'm setting those over there. And I'm bringing in uh, my big purple pot. I'm gonna do a couple things here. First, we're adding two cups of half and half. And I mistimed my dishwasher again. All right, we're also gonna add six cups of chicken broth. And I don't remember how much I've got in this canister of chicken broth. So I'm gonna do something you rarely see me doing, and that's measure. I'm also gonna turn this up Go ahead, go ahead and crank it up to medium so I get a nice heavy simmer on here. So there's two cups of broth, three cups, four cups. I figured I was short. Okay, that's right. I bought all the broth in East Tennessee. There we go. I'll get two more in a second. I want a nice simmer on it. Um, where did I put all the broth? Okay. And then I'm gonna season it because if you don't season your broth from the beginning or your liquid or your grits or what have you, if you don't season this before the grits begin to absorb liquid, 
it'll never taste right. So we've got some nice rich flavors over here. So we've got the bacon, we've got onion. I'm using, here we go. We're gonna add cheese because, you know, why not? I'm using stone ground grits, okay? Grits are just ground corn. It's the same thing as polenta. The only difference between them is whatever your preference is for how coarsely it is ground. In this case, I like it really coarsely ground, okay? So here we go, right in there. And the trick with grits, stir. All right, so I'm going to grab, oh, well, I guess I am gonna go grab. I have somewhere, oh, here it is. I'm not gonna have to go anywhere. This is something I mix up all the time. <clears throat> I've been talking about it for years, but this is what it is. It's equal parts, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and black pepper. I use kosher salt, so it's not too salty, okay? And then if you want to, add some MSG. If you don't, don't freak out, just don't put it in, okay? So it's equal parts, and I'm going about two teaspoons each on each of those. Onion powder, garlic powder, kosher salt, black pepper okay and that goes into the beginning so as this comes up to a boil and those grits begin to absorb all that liquid the seasonings are going to be carried right in there with it okay one other thing i'm going to do and then we're just going to let this come up to a boil is i'm going to add hot sauce cheese grits and hot sauce are beautiful well i'm all catty one this there look at that as much as you want. Ah, there. <laughs> ah. All right, it's gonna come up to a boil. And we're gonna reduce it to a simmer, and it's gonna cook for 23 minutes. My cousin Vinny reference. That's funny. You hear that? <laughs> that is bubbling. Okay, that's actually too high. Turn that down. Okay. We only want it to just simmer, and it's got a few minutes left. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah, we still got 15 minutes on it. So over here, all I did was, wait a minute, uh, see that? I have a strainer. The greens are nice and tender. So I have a strainer and I got most of the liquid off because I'm gonna pop this over here on my cutting board and chop them up. <clears throat> you don't have to do this stuff. This is optional, but I like smaller pieces. It's easier to eat. I just think it's nicer. Here goes my dishwasher again. <laughs> All right, and then in the meantime, while I'm chopping that up, actually that's gonna cool down a little bit, be easier to handle. In the meantime, our onions, hot, can go right back in this pot with the grits. Just like that. All right, that's it y'all. I'm gonna stir up. No, I'm gonna chop up the rest of our greens. We're waiting on our grits. Mm. All right, these grits, <laughs> meow, are just about perfect. They're the most beautiful things ever. They are already just rich and flavorful and delicious. So now we're just gonna make them crazy. Okay, so first thing in here, our greens that we chopped up, <clears throat> and this gets stirred in along with cheese, okay? A good three cups. This is a Monterey Jack and Colby blend. Use sharp cheddar if you want to. And I'm saving a little bit for the very top. And then that's a cup of Parmesan. Same thing, I'm saving some for the top. All right, this is honestly, I have to say, one of the more ridiculous casseroles I make, just because it's insanely delicious and incredibly, um... <laughs> people think fried food epitomizes Southern food. I don't necessarily think it does. I mean, yes, I can argue for fried chicken or pork chop here and there. But if you noticed, we put half and half and cheese. And 
most recipes will tell you to put a stick of butter in there as well. So, I like butter. I like butter too. So, you know what? I'm sitting here thinking, why are we not putting butter in? Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, I gotta tell you this, y'all. <laughs> the devil made me do this. My cute little quadrilled devil sitting here on the floor behind me. I'm not sure if I actually caught on video the fact that I put a stick of butter in here, but I did. All right, A, you don't have to. B, this is not something you're gonna make every week, right? This is not probably part of your normal recipe rotation. This definitely is something that you would serve at a holiday. And as far as I'm concerned, put in the flipping butter. There, fine. All right, so let's give it another taste real quick while our butter is melting. All right, let's see. Ma'am. Yeah. That's how Southern food is supposed to work. <laughs> All right. I gotta find a big, yeah, I gotta lift that and dump it out into this, which I just put some cooking spray in the bottom of my casserole dish. And I've got my oven at 350 degrees. Bear with me, I'm gonna dump out this into my casserole, I'll be right back. I'm not gonna hold on, I'm ready to go. All right, <clears throat> so, ta-da, <laughs> it was magic. Y'all, I do that because I'm such a klutz. That's just all there is to that. Half the time when I'm trying to pour stuff into a casserole dish or something like that, I'm short, I can't reach, <laughs> spill stuff all over the counter. And then I can come back in here and act like I didn't spill it, clean it all up before I turn my camera back on. So that's how that works. All right, last of the cheese over the top. There's our bacon, which no, I don't think anybody was eating bacon while it was waiting on the grits to cook. Anyway, right over the top of the bacon. Bacon, cheese, butter. Hey, but it's good for you because it's got uh, collard greens in it. That's how that works. <laughs> 20 minutes, right in the oven. All right, check this out. 20 minutes. Can you hear it? That's what delicious sounds like. <laughs> okay. I swear, I've already eaten enough grits <laughs> to kill a person, but, man. Whoop, I dropped a bit of cheese. That should be a party fell. That's so good it's stupid. <laughs> That's so good you don't believe that you actually made that. That's so good you want to stand here and just eat it with a spoon. All of those things are acceptable. Make it, you'll see.